Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. Uh, thank you for watching the previous video on geometry. Uh, I think that got a lot of attention. Uh, from now on you'll be seeing more geometry puzzles in this channel. Okay, but let's take a break now and do some algebra. At this point you can go out and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. x, y, z are non-negative real numbers and we're going to be solving for x, y, z. But we only have two equations, right? So what do we do if we don't have enough equations? Uh, first of all, it doesn't say that we're looking for integer solutions necessarily, so we're going to be looking for real solutions. Uh, and since we don't have enough equations, we're going to be using uh, some inequalities here. And the most important inequality to use here is going to be the AM-GM inequality, which says that the arithmetic mean of a bunch of numbers is going to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean. So we're going to start with these three numbers here. The arithmetic mean of xy, yz, and xz, which is their sum divided by 3, needs to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the cube root of their product. So what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply them together, xy, yz, and xz. Okay? So now we do know that this sum is equal to 12, so I can just go ahead and replace that with 12. 12 divided by 3 is going to be 4. So I can safely say that the cube root of, and from here, I'm, I'm going to be getting x squared, y squared, and z squared, right? That should be less than or equal to 4, which is 12 divided by 3, okay? It's basically the first, first inequality that I'm going to be getting. Since x, y, z are non-negative, I can just go ahead and uh, cube both sides, and from here we'll be getting x squared, y squared z squared is less than or equal to 4 cubed, which is 64. And then I can go ahead and take the square roots. Again, they're non-negative. So we'll be, end up, we'll be ending up with uh, the inequality x, y, z is less than or equal to 8. Okay? So that's the very first inequality that we're going to be getting. So we have an upper bound for x, y, z. Now, we're going to be using the second equation, which tells us that x, y, z is equal to x plus y plus z plus 2. So if I go ahead and copy that here so that I can just use the inequality, the same AMGM inequality here, but this time we're going to be dealing with four numbers. We're going to include the two there. So the arithmetic mean of four numbers here is going to be greater than or equal to their geometric. Since there are four numbers, it's going to be the fourth power of their product and their product is going to be 2xyz okay now we do know that x plus y plus z here is uh, x plus y plus z plus 2 is the same as xyz right so we can actually go ahead and set this equal to xyz so let's see what happens here uh, i'm going to go ahead and replace this one with xyz so x, y, z divided by 4 is going to be greater than or equal to the fourth power, I mean the fourth root of 2x, y, z. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we got an inequality for x, y, z and we're going to be getting another one here. So I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. x, y, z is equal to that, 2x, y, z. And then I'll raise both sides um, to the fourth power. That's going to give me x, y, z to the fourth power is greater than or equal to four to the fourth power, that's actually going to equal uh, two to the eighth power, which is 256, right? And then when we raise it to the fourth power, it's just gonna be two x, y, z, okay? We're gonna multiply together and divide both sides by x, y, z. So this should give us x, y, z cubed is greater than or equal to 512, which I can write as 2 to the ninth power, okay? So if I, x, y, z, again, non-negative here, if you cube root both sides, you're going to be getting x, y, z is greater than or equal to 2 to the third power, which is equal to 8, okay? So we got a very interesting result here by using arithmetic mean, geometric mean, or AMGM inequality, because our first result was x, y, z is less than or equal to 8. Now we're saying that x, y, z is greater than or equal to 8. So if you go ahead and put those together, 
the only way to get out of this is by accepting the fact that xyz is equal to 8. Okay, so now this gives us xyz, but how do you find x, y, and z from here? That's another question to ask, right? Okay, well, the AMGM inequality is an inequality. So when do we get equality or equation from there? Well, only if x, y, z are equal. So in this case, if this is satisfied, that means that x equals y equals z, and that can only happen when they're all equal to 2. So that's the only solution to this system of equations. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.